Hey guys, hope you're doing great. My name is Trudy Kitui na tuko hapa na Oga the Top. Tutaka kupiga story, atuambie kwanza we we are here. Personally, nangoja kusikia. Tuko hapa kufanya nini? Alright, alright. Good morning, good evening, yes. good afternoon, depending on where you're watching this from and at what time. Yes. You know, nowadays we are international. Mutu anaza kuwa na yona na tuko Japan. Mm. Mm. Unasema good afternoon. Unasema, hey, harikato. Alright. Muko aje? Muko fiti? Mm. Kuna ngine si wajui ya wawili si jai waona. Ini team gani? Timbili TV. Ah. Lango TV. Oh, oh. Karibuni. Ini mjo Lango TV? Ya. Yeah. Nani aliandika caption badge ya picha angu? <laughs> Wana kuanga wege ya no jini. Nani aliandika? Wamejua. Nani aliandika? Wagini media. Ya? Yeah? When will you post? Ambia au mtu mwenye anapose vitu kwa Jalango TV let's do better. Mliweka caption mbaya sana mpaka ningatumia boss wenyu. Wacha ni wasomee hiyo caption waliandika. Natumia boss wenyu nikamwambia au watu wanachomea wana, wana Jalango TV ji, nini jina. Acha nikwambie hiyo post waliweka hapa. Ogao bina exposed badly by Dr. Kasipul reveal shocking secrets. Ndiyo hii? Unaweza hiyo na kweli? Unaweza hiyo? Hiyo ni title. Mtu ameweka. Mbona nikatumia nani? Nikamwambia, "Baba, the person who's running for you your page and I try sana na clickbait. I think that is also what's hurting the page. And then such type of negative headlines tulisha toka huko mazee. Sijui nani mwenye anarun hiyo page. Nafanya ongea na yeye. Ona sideline kama hii." Yata ye kashtuka, kalisa, what is this? Mm-hmm. Eh? Sasa we, tusikutana, I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you so click, but ati, na nile sikutulikuwa Uru Gardens Imagine. Yeah, Kwa nini ya, um, yeah, I'm like a festival. Ogo been exposed badly. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, come on, man. The day I'll be exposed badly, you will know. <laughs> but before we get there, let's also enjoy and make hay while the sun is shining. All right? Mm-hmm. But anyway, water under the bridge now, it was already sorted. We are doing better. So, nime waleta hapa for one reason and one reason alone. Baby's birthday is coming up. It's on the 12th of November. The 12th? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The 12th of November. Yeah. All right? So, I'm going to be giving her a couple of gifts uh, for her birthday. Zingine zita kwa ndogo, zingine zita kwa kubwa, zingine zita kwa by the way. But gift ni gift. Eh yeah, mimi ndakuwa nikiweka nikimnundia kafla kama moja mimi nasema this another one. Mm-hmm. Eh yeah. so unapanga kumpea gift ngapi? Sija figure I'd figure already three. Mm-hmm. Kuna three that I've already figured out but more can come. Okay. Okay because also others will come in forms of jobs. Mm-hmm. You see. So let's not just look at it as uh, I can give her a job. Yeah. Fanya hii na A B C D so inasonga nayo. Mm-hmm. So today we are here. Give number one is coming from here. This place is called Dignity Furniture. Uh, so dignity furniture wanauza viti meza vitanda mattress nini zote wame import zote zimetoka nje viti na meza moyo ndege mm-hmm. yani ni vitu zimepana ndege si vitu zimetengenezwa chini ya mti at yo oh, you know na kupakia rangi na maliza sahi sahi yo oh, kuja sijui mgumoji imefanya nini yo oh, nini drama mingi mbali na kuja na makunguni a ah, a ah. hizi zimetoka huko mayolo all right mm-hmm. so i want to give her a gift here Angekuja leo but ameshikika unajua mambo ya wanawake ni mingi yeah. yeah so it's just for her to find time akuja hapa chukue chochote atachukua i want to furnish her parents house uh, chairs uh, dining set and bed the whole shebang also her house i notice it does not have a console table mm-hmm. ile nyuma demo anekanga makaki is yeah. my makeup yeah. nini wakitaka kutoka kwa mlango that one so, so she can come and pick it so baby atafute free time kuja pa dignity furniture this one is on broadwalk mall iko westlands hapo tu karibu na roundabout hapo what's the name of that road yeah. ojijo road iko hapo so kuja hapo iko third floor achukue na akipenda aende ile ya mlolongo akipenda aende ile iko langata ama akipenda aende ile iko thika road hapo karibu na clay clay works ama ni clay city clay works, yeah, clay works apitie angalia a, a confirm akipata zile anataka zitapakiwa vizuri zitumwe ziende shikendu kwa dad na mama sasa hiyo ndio gift ya kwanza ninepea uh, baby i'm gifting her parents on her birthday mwanza kulipa mahali 
Nimeanza pole pole umeniona. Nimekuona. Umeniona? Ai 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 ai. Sio sema 3 million. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, because hiyo tukipiga hesabu. Mm. Eh. Hey, hey. Yeah. Because you unajua ni vitu legit. Mm. However, wako na seal. Mm. Eh hey, inaanza the 15th November. Sasa baby, so kuja around 15th November. <laughs> Usikuje before. <laughs> yeah, kuja 15, 16, 17 kama kuna sale at least. Mm. Usininyoroshe sana unipeleke pole pole. Mm-hmm. Eh. Wow. That is the only thing that nimwaitia hapa. Uh-huh. So I can give baby gift number 1. Ni kana gift number 2 pia naangalia ni waite ni waite. Mm-hmm. Ni waite? Tuite. Okay. Paka zote hizo gift zote baada ya your birthday. Sawa. Aha. So vina maybe kwa watu ambao wangependa kujua. Bwana umeamua kumgift mapema. Umeanza mapema sana. Birthday is on 12th. Okay. Yes. I always plan my things early. Mm-hmm. Last minute is normally not advisable. Mm-hmm. So I really uh, we were to furnish the parents house. Yeah. You see? And then vitu zikafanyika eh hey, hey, eh hey. eh then i started looking for a backup option i was like okay if this doesn't happen because the house has to be furnished either way mm-hmm. so nikaanza kutafuta mapema so then i got dignity furniture guys i pitched the idea to them i was like listen all i need is just furniture for a b c d yeah. and because i know the value of a furniture is a b c d let's quantify it with the value of the brand influence i will bring uh, during the festive season Uh, you do guys have a sale? Yes, you have a sale even 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 so me to come niambia watu niaje mko na sale. I'll even leverage on Obina Show Life. I'll do for you marketing on Obina Show Life. Baby apatiwe. Sasa mimi naenda kutoka jasho. Baby apatiwe zawadi yake ya nini? Ya ya parents because I don't need the furniture now. She does not need the furniture now. Sasa bado ako sawa. But the parents wana move kwa ile nyumba. Si move kwa ile nyumba na zile furniture za ile nyumba nyingine. Hizo wapia wa gift mtu. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mambo ni mengi. Eh, mambo ni mengi so eh, governor amekuwa busy. So like I've said I always look for backup plan. So nikingoja tu governor unajua pia ana run mambo mingi. Nikisema tu mimi nangoja governor kuja funish akuja funish venye ali promise. Labda it might not happen at the time that we need it. So I decided to look for a backup option. So this is the backup. First option si governor ali offer. Alisema yeah. na funish nyumba parents ni nini nini. Mm-hmm. So hata sasa governor akiona hii video anione kando anitumie kaki arudishe hiyo nini nimeweka hapa mm. e, sasa yeye anilipe mm. e, anipatie hiyo value that our watu wengine sasa e, so governor nimejua video takufikia time is now safanya mambo yako mm. yeah amazing kuna swali lingine uh, obi can understand that you've been pushing the the house na baby pia pamoja na wazazi yeah. and maybe is there any challenge you guys have faced in pushing the Eh hey, challenges ni mingi. Eh hey, nyumba imenyorosha baby bwana. Eh hey, nyumba ni pesa. <laughs> Juzi alinitumia nini? Vitu zimebaki. Cha ni nini? Oh, Bora nilitumia nani hapa. So vitu zimebaki kwa hiyo nyumba. Na breakdown yao. Window panes, electric wiring, plumbing and latrine, tanks za maji, floor tiles, septic tank seven interior doors tank metal stands plumbing and contractors labor water gutters, uh, gutters and pipes basically for this house to be finished it needs around 645000 mm. yeah but here window panes ishafanywa so hapa tumebaki na kitu kama 590000 so that nyumba ishe completely ile sasa Finishing finishing ndio inakuwa ni nyumba na hapo ndio sasa pesa inaingianga mingi. Mm-hmm. Eh, so pressure ni mingi but pole pole tu. Analiambia baby is one step at a time nyumba unless unafanya wash wash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Skuma pole pole ama itakupea kidney failure. Mm-hmm. Ya pole pole unaamka leo una oh nipake rangi wall unapaka una relax tena. Bado ukijipea pressure utakufa na hata attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alisema she will be opening uh, the house during her birthday maybe at some point. Maybe uh, you planned to attend the house party Why? I'm not sure if I'll be able to attend but if I'm able to why not because you see on the 9th we are in Kisumu yeah. the homecoming then now we come back on the 10th in the evening mm-hmm. then on 11th is Obina show live you see which has to happen mm-hmm. which is Monday mm-hmm. then on Tuesday mm-hmm. is 12th which is her birthday mm-hmm. then on Wednesday 
then 15th ndio sasa sale inaanza so we Jesus hebu mpani hivi nini muna tinua tu nyuma trudi i like how you roll <laughs> yeah so if i'm able to i will because why not let's go celebrate yeah. Yeah, but if i'm unable to piasia atakuwa hapo ata represent mm-hmm. penye yako niko penye eh, niko yuko yes hata sehemu ya muona hapa ati yako si yako yes. eh. and uh, you've talked of the governor maybe not accomplishing uh, the, the promise because of one two three reasons yeah are there any other people maybe they promised to do this and unfortunately they didn't accomplish that a lot of people a lot of people that's how life is you know nobody owes you anything uh, even business there are people who you sit down with you pitch an idea and they don't see the value or the sense in it mm-hmm. sometimes you do it sometimes you don't do it even in relationships mm-hmm. people promise a lot of things they don't deliver oh i'll take you to the moon and back oh hata kupeleka ruta au inakuwa ni noma yeah so oh you'll be going and coming nothing happens you don't go you don't come uko tu hapo so relationships what any relationship that involves human beings disappointments are always inbound but just try to limit the level of disappointment so it's equal uh, too huge True. yeah I, but in my life even in my career in my personal life many disappointments and i've also disappointed a lot of people we are only human beings we are not perfect yeah one last question before we get in eh? okay uh, it's out kidogo but uh, allow me to ask uh, you've been doing content na pia baby pale uh, weekly show yeah and at some point you make content ki jokes na maybe people take it serious uh, okay maybe how what, what would you like to address about the issue people taking our content with baby serious like uh, what on a chukulia a joke maybe we make a joke about someone ah. and they take it serious I always say what I say is up to me how you understand it is up to you Most people don't know my background as a comedian because kuna wale wameanza kunijua saa hizi wanafikiri au mimi nataka kuna tu interviewa so they don't understand when you make a sarcastic statement you crack a joke ama you do a pun they don't get it but it comes back to how you understand it is up to you me I mean well I'll joke about something we can't be walking on eggshells as comedians now you i can't joke about trudy i can't joke about vicky i can't joke about uh, harry i can't joke w- what do you mean life is never that serious let's breathe in and breathe out mm-hmm. sit for jibamba we'll have a good time on the show on that show we talk about uh, nearly everybody yeah. majority don't take it serious but there are some few when you are going hey you know you know you know sometimes unaangalia uko zile ah iko sawa tunasonga nayo it doesn't change what is and what is is the pure the purity of the heart yeah. yes Uh, two more questions from me. Okay. Looking at Demo Facebook right now, she's really doing well and the poor life yake may change. How does how does that make you feel as a person who has really supported her journey? And the second question uh, it was like a week ago you posted a video about Chantel ukionesha watoto wako ah. and uh, Lola she was so emotional yeah. about it. As a dad, how did you feel uh, watching your girl? What will go asema sasa huyu ndo bina sasa? Yeah. Okay, nianzie gani? Yeah, What was the question? Umesema <laughs> Lola kulia uka ni confused. Yeah, baby ni kuna vile life yake may change. Oh yeah, I feel I feel so good. It's not been easy. It's not easy. It's never easy. I've, like I've told you when human beings are involved, we have different ways of thinking, different ways of reasoning, yeah. different levels of knowledge, exposure, education. There's some things I know that she doesn't, some, some things she knows that I don't. And now there's always that constant. Then now you know I have a team then she had a team yes. so there's always a lot of it's not easy mm-hmm. but when i see where she is now i feel so good mm-hmm. because i i remember when i interviewed her when alikuja na Nairobi akaenda siju kulala i think i invited i invited her for kula kula show yeah. akatoka siju wapi akaenda kulala kwa best yake somewhere mm-hmm. then he also did first time kama alikuwa amefanya inaitwa si blood dry i think alikuwa amechana tu nywele ime uka hivi nyuma So when I look at that time then later when we met on Obina show live then that time when I was interviewing Justina Siokao yes. then later when she came and then she jumped on me mm-hmm. when I look at the growth it's tremendous I look at her I'm like yo hey, yeah. we've come a long way yeah. yeah she's really changed a lot uh, she's really improved a lot even though now I'm being because of a few reasons one people wanted to do well but not too well Yeah, yeah people want you to do do good but not too good mm-hmm. so if people see her looking good people will start hating 
on her, not knowing she's just a girl. Mm. She likes to feel good, she likes to look good, she likes to dress good. Yeah. But that's how our perception as Kenyans is. Mm. The same thing you saw when I posted the Balenciaga boots. Yeah. A lot of people are saying, Yo, pesa unge, unge mm. And you're like, so I should not leave. Yeah, so I don't look good, so I don't leave. Should, should I not reward myself? Like yesterday, we were shooting until 5 in the morning, from 8. Then they do all that. Then when you do something good for yourself, someone has an opinion about it. And then also, for her, we know where she's been. And a lot of people were body shaming her, dissing her, doing whatever. And then she conquered it all. She faced it head on. And then now, she's trying to spruce herself up. Then someone is still coming from somewhere. Mm -hmm. She could say my Facebook I'm a cake. And a ringa. And a ringa. <laughs> I'm like, so you wanted her to remain the same? Mm -hmm. Like, what's wrong with some people? Like, people want you at a way. When God you talk, well, but when you're rushing away. Would have figured one of them, ah, too busy quizzy. Excuse me, another queen interview on my high heels. <laughs> so people always have those ones. Yeah. Myself, I feel good. Mm -hmm. She feels good. I just sell her to a beat. You know, sometimes even there's some ways when she dresses, she doesn't need to post for the guys. Let her do it for herself. When she's going on a date, she's doing whatever, she's slaying, she's feeling good. If she posts, post to what people are used to. That's why even on weekly show, we try to limit even the dress will be either the dera. Ama kunaka kapiel na na dunga. sana. She is very comfortable with it. So she rocks on that one to maintain. But I can't kuja pale weekly show. I'm pick up my makeup, my nini, my hose, my hue. What was like, ah, he keep in this crazy stuff, ah, nee, 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 because all the people always have. The same thing when I got her the car. A lot of people started saying when she was doing corner with the car, she was excited. Mm -hmm. It's your first car. Yeah. Me and I got my first car, I slept in the car. Oh, and I to post it, I Okay, I post it, I go now. Yeah, so we have all of those perceptions that people see you differently when you behave differently, but growth is inevitable. Change is also inevitable. We have to grow, we have to learn, we improve, we make mistakes, we do better. Mm -hmm. So myself, I feel good, she feels good, her parents feel good, we move. Sure. Aya. To Lola. Mm -hmm. Hey, when Lola cried, I felt very bad. I don't like seeing children cry. Yeah. All kids. Me, I normally go even in a mall somewhere. You see a child, I go to the parents and go like, yo, what's up? Mm -hmm. So I'm to Tanalia. When a child cries, there's something that's off. Mm -hmm. Okay, unless it's discipline. Now you only you wear fanya mambo yako kama parent, but be are not overboard. Mm -hmm. Then so Lola was crying. She was very emotional, and uh, she's really looking forward to meet them. This week we were supposed to have Rosie, but Omosh, <laughs> So let me tell you something about Omosh. Omosh is my PA, mm -hmm. but anytime I need him. He's never yeah, there. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Omo, you know the time are you? I'm like, but Omo, she was just standing here. Yeah. Anyway, side story. So, uh, Omo, she was to get Rosie Juicy. She didn't get any cars. She didn't even get Leo. So I don't know what's happening. But Rosie is supposed to come for the holiday season with us. If you guys remember Rosie, she's one of the girls I adopted in the orphanage that I support uh, in Blessed Assurance Children's Home in Mwiki. By that I December to end up for being offered the Christmas kujeni. Meet our invite mukujeni to chase our toto. And like I always say, for children you don't even have to you don't even have to give them anything. Yeah. Your presence alone. What you are going to again you are mukujeni. Again you are mukujeni. Quite too. Ni ni ni. They feel good. You can't play with them. You don't tell them. Missing a kishakuleta, bro. Buy ata kama ni lollipop. Come, ama jilete. Come, let's play with the kids. Let's have a good time. Yeah. So. Also, Akina, Chantel, and Aiden, their mom has been searching for a house for the last three, four days. I'm like, ah, bado. Mm -hmm. Even I think today she's still looking for another one. Kunangina walipata jana because we wanted them to move uh, from uh, Dandora. Yeah. And then we'll move school for Chantel and Aiden. And then we see how it goes. Next year, by the time if, inshallah, we have our office uh, for Bina TV Studios. The mother can get a small role in the office. Either any cleaning, ama kwana tengeneza chai, ama whatever. Provided she settles somewhere, you know she's asthmatic. Yeah. And then Pia Chantel atuli ero yake atuli because that she's worried because of the mother. Aiden ni akutwaki ma boys. But I understand he's yeah. too young. But so Chantel, if she settled, I have a feeling she's a performer. True, she is. If she performs well and she does well, mm -hmm. and she joins the family, hi and Aiden and. Uh, uh, Rosie and the others. It will be a big happy family. True. And let's wait and see how it goes. Only God knows yeah. about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yebo. So maybe you can...
Okay, Vicky, okay. Vicky, ladies no. fast wave. <laughs> no, mine was just to malizio to be something that Okay. Yeah, now, uh, of course, we can't finish without talking about something we are having in this room. Yeah. Huh? Maybe uh, last time, we ended up in a baby, we went to Wagoma Palace. Yeah. Zima yo kitu. <laughs> Zima yo kitu. Hakuna muna nako bauma yetu. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe okay, maybe okay. Expecting something different away from what we experienced in Italy. Of course, Bwana, it's Europe. Yeah, it's, it's Europe. Europe. It's not Europe, Bwana. What do you mean? It's Kisumo. Have you seen the headlines? Have you seen the headliners of that show? That show is going to be huge. It's going to be amazing. It's very stressful, very tasking. It's stressing me a lot. Like I'm, I'm thinking it, I'm replaying it, I'm rehearsing for it, I'm replanning it. It's a lot because all of those all of those artists you've seen on that poster, all of them are being paid, mm -hmm. and all of them have to travel to Kisumu. They have to sleep, they have to eat, they have to perform, and they have to come back. The ones who are coming from Nairobi, and all of that has to make sense on stage. So what was it going on on stage? What was going on Nini and everything? So we are hoping, and as we know, hope is not a strategy. We are also strategizing for giving you guys the best event. Uh, in Kisumu, that's my hometown. People there like to party, so let's wait and see how it's gonna go. But we are strategizing for it to be the best ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so full vibes, full vibes, and inshallah. It's okay, Peter too. Peter too, what